tell me about the project from the kind of the genesis. I know it's something that you've been trying to get made before, and obviously the last one that you made was a, was a bit of a horror film, but this is very different. Yes. What was the genesis, and what made all the pieces kind of come together? Uh, well, honestly, the biggest uh, the biggest hurdle making it come together was the creative and like figuring the movie out because iterations and everything had been ruined for the better part of a decade. And that probably halfway through that, I got the, the, the epiphany for the structure exactly. But I, it still couldn't all gel. And for whatever reason, I think living a bit more life. I also think it's meant to be I met um, Kelvin, who's lead actor in this, on my last movie. Um, and then between those things happening, everything clicked. And I just the writing really started working uh, after my last movie came out. Um, yeah. The, 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 in that process, the decision was to, because obviously you, you do a lot of um, changing of the ratio and obviously you have a colorist that makes the thing so vibrant and so alive. Was that something that you that was part of your plan and that if we're going to make the movie, this is exactly what I want to do? Was it a case of having to storyboard or did you just kind of go with the flow in some respect? Uh, definitely. All, so basically, it started with the script and the script was meant to be as... Uh, visceral and immersive as I hoped the film would be. So wrote camera movement into it, aspect ratios, there were different fonts and colors, we embedded music into it to kind of make a very like kind of interactive script. Um, and then it just goes to the next level with the collaborators. So uh, Drew, my DP, we've been working together on every movie I've done since uh, my short film version of Carisha. And um, uh, yeah, he just, we push each other and it takes it to the next level. And again, we just wanted a really immersive, visceral, subjective experience uh, for the brother and the sister of this story, our lead characters. Um, so the camera and everything is also, it, sorry, it's always trying to do what's most honest to um, the characters in the story at that moment. You're, you're blessed with an array of talent. Obviously, you used to work with Calvin before, but then you get to like Sterling K. All of these guys, just incredible. Lucas Hedges as well. Um, did it make your job slightly easier when you managed to get these guys and you thought, oh, yeah. right, at least th at least now I know I've got this this part of it and I can just worry about the technical stuff? Hell yeah, without a doubt. I mean, uh, I, I felt every day we were shooting, I felt so blessed. Like, literally, I'm working with some of the best actors alive. I couldn't ask for more. So... Um, it was funny because like we had a crazy schedule with a ton of locations and a lot of pages to shoot that uh, you know like a bond company said it was impossible and everything and um, I think uh, we couldn't have done it without this incredible cast because they show up and right from the start they're good like from take one it's like okay it's already great maybe we can make it a little better but I felt so 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 blessed with this cast man. I just wanted to ask you about the, the, the color. I mean, it's so vibrant. I mean, you uh, and uh, when I was watching the credits, a colorist comes up at the beginning of the credits. Yeah, you think, oh, yeah, what, yeah. What, what is this, this is going to be something special? But was that something that you wanted to use as a tool to try and help you tell the story? Because so there's some sequences with the police cars, everything, yeah. so vibrant and so so alive and loud in their own way. I hope so. Uh, this movie, more than any other I've done, um, Demo, who colored our movie, colored our last film, It Comes at Night as well, which was a way more muted, toned down palette. Um, in a subtly different approach to the filmmaking. With this, again, Demo just took stuff to the next level. Um, and it started with the script, and it started with, uh, like I was saying before, this subjective, immersive experience that I want it to feel honest to the characters and honest to the world it's in. Um, I live in Florida still, I'm in love with it. It's a vivid, beautiful place, and I wanted to do that justice. And then it's like really doing the uh, using color to do the character's emotional state of mind's justice. So um, it was kind of established with True, and then Damo uh, and our collaboration with him just took it to the next level. I love that guy, man. He's family. Yeah. I just finally, I mean, it's a very American set movie, but it's a very universal, th loads of the universal themes in there. Are you hopeful so. that it transcends to the UK audience that are watching it here and audiences that watch it all over the world? Without a doubt. Nothing, nothing is more incredible and humbling when something can be more universal like that. Uh, especially when it starts at such a personal place and you, you know you don't know is anyone else going to be interested in this but when it does translate it's it's the most humbling thing so I hope I hope people dig it yeah, yeah. yeah. well dude I loved it thank, thank you so you. much for your time absolute thank pleasure you. ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys hey you guys huh hey you guys, is yeah. that from the goonies it is indeed, yeah. nice hey you guys